Okay guys, we're at the Sakonakon airport. I'm gonna do a tour of the airport, take a look around, see what's in here, and uh, get as much information about this airport as I can. It's the first time doing a night tour of the airports. It's a little different. Uh, as you can see, lighting is an issue. Uh, this place has some very mixed reviews, very bad comments about it being old and outdated and nothing to do and uh, you know it is what it is these airports are designed to get you from here to Bangkok and nothing else you know they're very small they're very basic and uh, that's it but we'll, we'll see this lady is really not not too happy with me right here so I'll get away from her this is very nice I don't know what those people were complaining about. I don't know if this is a new renovation or not, but this is nice. Of course there's nothing to do. What do you want? <laughs> it's an airport. The x-ray machines in the airport seem to be a new thing. I didn't see that until uh, Nakhon Panom. There's this lady again. Boy, she's got it out for me. I won't show her. It's nice in here. What is wrong with these people complaining? Only two airlines. Nook Air is the one that's coming in now. And Air Asia. They don't have many flights. So uh, I'll put all the information for both airlines in the blog post. Of course, the number of flights can change, so it's something you have to uh, check in on. There, the counter. This is departure side, the other side. Same level, of course, is the arrivals. Couple of coffee shops. Uh, maybe only one coffee shop. I think it's the one coffee shop. As two stalls and of course you can buy some silk here are the rental car places Avis has a lot of cars I saw them in the parking lot this is limousine service and this other one I've never seen before so I don't know it but uh, I'll put their website in the blog post as well Normally there's more rental companies, but uh, I'd say the best one is here, in my opinion. Anyone who thinks this place needs to be brought up to international standards, need to open their eyes. Out of all the airports that I've uh, been to on this tour around Northeast Thailand, this is the nicest one, by far. Now maybe a year ago that was a different story or whenever that nasty comment there said lady she hates me I don't know what it is she don't trust me at all ever since I got out of the truck she's been giving me the evil eye <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was saying now it's a nice airport it's small what are you gonna do Uh, there it is guys. The flight was half an hour late. Thank you and no care for that. Uh, it's a nice little airport. I don't know what's wrong with the people leaving the reviews. Nothing wrong with this. It's, I, out of all the ones that I've done that are this style, you know, this is the nicest one by far. By, by far. Don't go to Ubon if you think this one is bad. Because <laughs> Ubon is not very nice at all. This is a pretty nice little airport. You know, it is what it is. They're designed to get you back and forth to Bangkok and that's it. Parking is limited. And no covered parking. And I haven't seen long-term parking in any except... Maybe Kon Ken has long-term parking. Or it used to before it got crazy busy. I don't know if it does now or not. I'll put a link to the 
blog post in the video description. I'll put as much information as I can in that uh, in that blog post. All the links to the airlines and uh, rental cars and all that stuff. Anything I can think of. Airport code, which I can't remember now. This lady here is wearing a Chicago Bulls uh, jersey. Uh, strange thing to see, something I haven't seen in a long, long time. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.